Pium! 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 <laughs> so the speed up time button actually speeds up time in the base. G'day mates and welcome to Radio Commander. This is a beautiful game about commanding your forces in the Vietnam War. This will be a very short war. You will be celebrating Blimey. Christmas back on Okinawa. <laughs> I guarantee. People really, really need to stop saying that, don't they? So this game is all about commanding your army via the radio. I know how to play this game. Get out of here. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good this day, is Papa Bear. Gentlemen, this is Papa Bear. Bravo Squad is laying <laughs> Just on the hill. Go over here and look at my helicopter. Over. Papa Bear. This is, this is Alpha. Alpha. Now if we roll over to here real quick, there goes our boys in Bravo. Let's yes, roll over to the other side. The <laughs> hey! Bring, that blade is going through the helicopter. Look at you. No sleeves. No sleeves in this camp. Goddamn disrespect of the uniform. What am I wearing actually? Oh god, I can't see my own body. So fuck your life. <laughs> <laughs> Love the comedians on the radio net, eh? Just like a real armor game. So there we go, we've sent our boys up slow and cautious towards the VC camp. They'll scout that thing out and this mission will be done. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. What? Think we've seen some Hang on a second. Okay, no, they've updated the mission. I don't know what's gonna happen anymore. Oh god, I'm off script, I'm off script. Oh god. Oh, everyone's about to die. Papa Bear. It's, it's just god. some wild animal. I repeat, there's no danger. Out. God damn it. Scared to death because of a fucking Bambi? General Westmoreland would be so proud. Alpha and Bravo learned how to coordinate their maneuvers together. I didn't report my suspicion, and the 173rd left him alone. In the coming weeks, a few elders were executed by the Viet Cong. So the objective here is to secure the hill, dig in and hold the perimeter, and also evacuate C Company's wounded and KIA by using Green Squadron. I have no idea what those hills this are. This is a really nice thing. It reminds me a lot of um, Sympathy for the Devil. The weather here is awful. Every living being, from snake to peasant, wants me dead. Hang on a second. Has that man got sleeves on? What? Ah, uh, you've got sleeves. Yeah, you get to live for today. Green one's going back to base. Wait, hang on. <gasps> I can just put the markers anywhere. All right, green one, congratulations. You're going to confidential on my, uh, what, what, what report is this? I think that says USS Kitty Hawk evaluation. Is that like a naval document? I don't know what that's doing, but all right, you, you enjoy that green one. God damn it. Where did they go down? Where'd they go down? Green one, continue your mission. C Company will send someone ASAP. Over. What? Fuck. Fuck. That's just fucked up. Fuck. I lost a green two. That was sad. Oh man. So in this mission, we're gonna search the area and find the bamboo pentagon. And I can't remember where I want to start off. I think it was when I played. It was somewhere around here last time. Okay, Papa Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Coleman turns away from the radio to breathe. Well, um, I don't think I can provide air support underground, so I'm pretty useless. Let's just, uh, carry on then, shall we? Bear, this is Alpha. It's been a while since Coleman went into the It's tunnel. been literally Coleman. two minutes and thirty seconds. It's actually been three minutes exactly, as we can see on our little radio thing right here. It's just, okay, Alpha, calm down. Permission to use tear gas. <gasps> tear gas? Tear gas? That's... Actually a war crime. I'm gonna see don't use the gas because they probably do have gas masks. If this is their HQ, they definitely have gas masks. And also blinding our troops is not a great idea. Hold on a second. You sent medics to Green 3. The decision cost your lives you the lives of the medics and the crew of the chopper. No, it didn't. I got the medics back. It literally said the medics are fighting their way back. We can see them. Wait, what? And then it says at the end, you you sent medics to Green 3. You rescued the pilots, but some say it was pure luck and could have ended tragically. These are two different reports. In, in was it says the medics die and the crew die. In this one, it says, congratulations, you saved everyone. I don't get it. I think it's bugged. There's a Viet Cong camp, which has some American prisoners in it. Private Tomovitz from Green 2 is among those POWs. <gasps> I remember him. I'm curious if Mr. Clay would be so smart if you surrender tomorrow and Kami's knocked on his door to delegalize this Islam of his. Does he even know that Kami's hate all religions? <laughs> I've been listening. I really do miss you, Mimi. Yours, mm. Luann. <gasps> oh, it's. Wait, hang on. 
Does he- Is she calling Kovacs Mimi? Hang on a second. Dear Mimi, I miss you so Ha 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 ha! Oh, shut up already, Coleman. And give me back that picture. Never mind, it was totally him, yep. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, crazy Billy. Oh, fuck you. And fuck all of you. This is Delta. We're in position. <laughs> we have Alpha and Bravo in spitting distance. They just can't see us. Over. What the fuck? <laughs> That's right, Preacher. If we were the Kong, you would have been a corpse already. Or worse. You move through the jungle with the subtlety of a drunken hippie. Alright, I'm sending my boys nice and cautiously up to that point there. Uh... Uh... uh I'm sorry, are the VC on my radio? Okay, so Delta's at their location. We're gonna send them in. Here we go. Okay, so they were going that way. They were going that way last I saw. Nice, okay. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> bravo. What do they look what like, they bravo? Look like, bravo. Over. Oh, I'm going to have to gun these civilians down, aren't I? Yep, time to kill some civilians. It's war crime time. It's time to gun them down. Put them down, Bravo. Put down, Bravo. Over. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> Bravo out. God damn, that was like a one shot. Did he get all three of them with one bullet? Good job, Billy. Papa Bear, this is Delta. We yes. Roger that. Delta, this is Papa Bear. Roger that. Infiltrate the camp and locate the POWs. Out. Bravo. Uh, double time to this hill. Bravo. This Alpha. is Papa Bear. Move to double time six, six, to this seven, hill. Bye. Nine. Two, Delta. Nine. ASAP. Fire at Over. will. Alpha. Bravo. This is Papa Bear. Fire at will. Two, Alpha. Six. six Fire at will. Del Bravo. Alpha. We have pushed back the enemy and the camp is ours. Good work, Coleman. You are one tough This is the best op we've done yet, god damn. Did we lose any- we didn't even get any wounded, did we? Hot diggity damn, zero losses. Uh, we said that the running villagers were VC spies, of course they were. And the morale of my soldiers is high, hot damn. Now we're here to help an Arvin camp. We're no longer fighting just Viet Cong guerrillas, but also the NVA army, oh boy. Private Tomasovich and his fellow prisoners were given only small doses of rice uh, and soup, often with human feces and pebbles. So the whole thing with this mission is we've got a convoy, we've got Alpha and Bravo, we've got some Dragon 1, which is a uh, M113 platoon, a Foxtrot battery, and we've basically got to escort these guys all the way up this road to this camp. Oh boy. Say hello to Mr. Peter Hurd from Rolling Stone magazine. Oh right, I forgot we have the guy from Rolling Stone in this one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, how about writing something patriotic for a change? Yeah. How about writing something patriotic for a change? You know, something that could actually help us win this war. Papa Bear out. I like this whole, like, me and my brother situation we've got going on where I, like, to, to Alpha and Bravo, I'm like, man, I hate this war. To Rolling Stone, man, the war's great. Huzzah! Papa Bear, this is Bore One. The road is blocked. I, excuse me? Well, we're just sat in this little defensive position whilst they get shelled by their own artillery and our own artillery. Dude! <laughs> oh, that was classic armor too. Papa Bear! We are under fire from four, four, four. All right, I'm moving things nice and cautiously now. These guys, infantry, are moving slow just because they're tired. I'm rolling Dragon One up the main road, and Boar One is right there. Nice. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just drive Dragon forwards, nice and slow, like one unit damaged. Gotcha. Okay. This is Boar One. 
There's only two guys left. God! Damn it! There was two VC left, and they blew up a bloody M1. Okay. Oh no! Come on! Fuck hell! It's a bloodbath. We have five Arvin and pieces and many wounded. Uh, six, no seven Arvin and five wounded GIs. Requesting medvac immediately. Over. Ah! Uh, all right, ball one. Hold position. Oh. What is red one? Hang on, what? I have red one under my command? Who is red one? They look like helicopters? So we're outside of Foxtrot's firing zone. It looks like we have red one though. What are they actually like? Okay, where red are they? One. I assume they're at base. This is Papa Bear. Hang What's on. Your position? Over. Are these you Papa dudes? Do you have rockets? We are at four, eight, eight. So you think Red 1 are attack helicopters because they can't actually uh, medevac, but they can do fun shooty things. Wait, the enemy is surrendering to helicopters? How does that work? Also, I just remember we have a Rolling Stones reporter with us, and so far, he's seen like a napalmed village of civilians. He's seen us shell several villages. And then just helicopters rock up as we slowly drive through the night and gun down like a random people in the forest. This is funsies. How? How is it an ambush? <sighs> nice, Bull One. Uh, Bull, can you please just call contacts? Oh, oh, they've magically appeared, have they? Oh my god, come on, I had the bridge secured. Ball one isn't even under attack. Right, Bravo, you were to engage. Bravo. Red one, you fly over and engage. Come on, let's get to this. Dragon, you flank. In we go. Alright, red one's engaging. We now order him to engage further. There we go. That's... Wait, hang on. That looks like two different units. Hang on. Okay, we've got two enemy... Okay, we've got... We've got two enemy units here, and we can send in now your vehicles now. Come on. Okay, you need medevac, that's fine. Alright, Bravo's taking some actual bad hits. Let's pull them back. Retreat. Yes, get the hell out of there. Right. Go. Retreat. Get out of there already. Alright, good. Okay, you boys are not going to engage. You're just going to stay there. Let's see how the fight starts is going. Oh, and Ball 1, you should have definitely stopped the convoy by now. Hang on. So what I've done is I've loaded Bravo into Dragon 1 to move them nice and quick. And we're going to run them double time with Dragon 1 to this position here along the main road. We'll check where Ball 1 and Alpha are currently. So Ball 1 is here. Dragon 1's rolling to there. And Alpha's just next to them right now. All right, that's fine. Oh, God. Oh, God, is he... Wait, no, this isn't the Middle East. Don't worry. Don't shoot, Lieutenant. It's an old man unarmed. Think he's greeting us? Yeah. Sir, he's yelling, Viva la France. Oh my god, that's amazing. Because, of course, the French were the bloody ones who were in there first. That's what the sort of kicked off the Vietnam War. Until obviously the lead, then, you know, it's a long, long way. It was the start that led into then the revolution, which led into the. Actually, it was the British post war. I'm gonna cr cross eyed in a moment. British post war two. Go to French. Go to the French leaving. Go to the Vietnamese north and south. Go to America entering. Go to the North winning. Go to capitalism just returning because great capitalism. You trusted Coleman and split your forces. Your subordinates asked themselves, "Who's in charge here?" Hey, that was a brilliant choice. What's your problem? We got ambushed by invisible men on a bridge, despite the fact that Coleman had already secured the bridge. Wait, we can watch a replay? Have I not done this yet? Excuse me? What? Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, you can even see the artillery. F oh, this is fascinating. <gasps> wow. 
Look at that's like me reorganizing the guys, me running the wounded ba- Oh, how have I never realized you could do this? There's green one, which only comes in if you hit the mines. Oh, look at all the, the stats. You've got healthy wounded K, organization signal, height, which I assume signal comes into play with like comms breakdown, stealth. But look at all that VC I had to fight. It was just VC snipers. There was NVA here as well. NVA, snipers, snipers, group. There was their artillery. We could actually... F what if we just went and found their artillery? God, this is fascinating. Wow, okay, I love this. So here we go, today we're playing Hammer and Anvil. We're dropping in behind enemy lines to push the NVA towards an anvil. Interesting. I also met his friend, Lieutenant Coleman of Bravo Platoon, a Howard University graduate. Oh, I like that. I I've like that. Coleman likes to cite Martin Luther King, yet spends most of his free time with Candy Johnson. A green beret, <laughs> decorated hero in the races so gross that even the Grand Wizard of the KKK would blush under his hood. <laughs> I thought you stayed because the love of our country. I you stayed for another tour because of your love for our country. Over. Two reasons, sir. Patriotic duty, of course. And the fact that someone has to look over our beautiful Texan snowflake. You see, he's like a child lost in the mist, torn between the two women he loves. Fuck you very much, Coleman. <laughs> Calm down, Kovacs. We're all invested in your love story. Calm down, Kovacs. At this point, we're all invested in your love story <laughs> and eagerly awaiting its conclusion. Keep me in the loop, Coleman. Papa Bear out. This mission is literally just hurting cattle. It's like I'm playing Mountain Blade. I never even saw the other two squads. I killed one of them outside of the net and pushed another one in, but I don't know what the hell happened to the other two. I just never saw them at all. Oh, we've sent Echo Platoon on a long-range reconnaissance patrol. If any have problems, Alpha and Bravo are there to help. Alright, let's go. It's like midnight and I really should have stopped playing, but I'm really enjoying this game, actually. That mission sucked, but everything else Christ, is good. Coleman, you scared the shit what? out of me. What? You ain't hanging out with your green bray bros? Hell no. I hate it when those cracker heads are high. Those are some crazy hombres, even without the dope. I this is you. awesome. So, Miss Liu Min is expecting? Are you yeah. not wearing sleeves? What are you gonna do? Absolutely Wait. fucking nothing. Wait, what? I ain't gonna ruin my life what? just because she's pregnant. You like knocked, her, God damn it! <laughs> Christ, Marlon, I'm 21. I have a life to live and a girl waiting for me back home. Nice, white, Texan family that doesn't know a word of Vietnamese. So, you going back to your white princess? Don't call her that. And yeah, at least I'll try. Don't get your hopes up. She's waiting for the same naive motherfucker that went to fight the bad commies. <laughs> And that motherfucker just ain't you anymore. This is True actually that. awesome. But I do want to live a little, you know? I'm 21 and have slept with just two girls. One of them wants to be my wife and the other one will have my baby. You're <laughs> doing bad, man. Have you heard what's happening back there? In the country? My cousin wrote me lately. Those hippie girls. Their music's good. That's for sure. <laughs> so you want to be a hippie as well? You got a better plan? Well... I'm putting my life on the line for the government that put my brother behind bars. Oh, so damn. So I guess when I'm done fighting in Nam, I do some old fighting in the States. I'm thinking about joining the Black Panthers. Good that Uncle Sam trained you well then. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Man, this is so fun. Like, this is a great story. I like how it's been told from so many different <gasps> perspectives. I hear some singing. Excuse me, I require... Ex what the hell? Papa Bear, this is Echo. We are ready to move, sir. Over. Yeah, give me a hot minute. I got more important. I'm in a cave? Is that just a fire extinguisher? Hot diggity damn. Be advised, there's some Arvin units operating in the area. They have our advisors on board. Be very careful when choosing your targets. We don't want any friendly fire. Understood? Over. Echo, gotcha, high priest. So I've just naped just two positions. Papa Bear. Papa Bear. This is Corbin. Wait, hang on. They did say something about Arvin. No. But they were shooting at a helicopter, so it's probably not Arvin, because the VC aren't known for their helicopters. These guys are probably also not Arvin, but who knows. Anyway, let's get rolling out to the south. Oh, remember that whole thing about how we weren't meant to friendly fire? And I've just decided to take Nape? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I've dropped Alpha on top of the enemy. This is a problem. 
What is the position Bravo, of Bravo Bravo. and Charlie? Papa Bear. Papa Bear. This is Echo. Reporting position 8. So Alpha now on top of the enemy. I'm just going to order them to try and retreat and get out of there. Oh god, Echo's running out of ammo. Oh boy. This is Bravo. Our position. Papa Bear, this is High Priest. You're barbecuing too close to friendly units. Be careful. Out. We didn't take any damage, did we? Oh god, we totally did. I just dropped napalm on my own men. I dropped napalm on Echo. Whoops. Yeah, we did drop napalm on you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're evacuating Echo first, Bravo's gonna hold the gap in between, and then Alpha's gonna pull out and evacuate next. So I just can't pick up my guys. I don't know if this is possible to win or not. I think I may have just have a bug game. Maybe you have to move Bravo up as well? Hang on. Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh my god. I, I would like to provide support. I'm really fucking trying. You can't, you're not telling me where they are. I, all right, in, in you go, green one. Can I just nape the hill? It's probably not gonna do anything, is it? Oh, there we go. Oh no. What about, what about Kovacs? Kovacs? No. Yeah, he's here, all right. One hundred percent. Fuck. Dead. Half his face got blown off. No. Not Kovacs. Papa Bear, this is Cormac. Oh, thanks, Cormac One. Job complete. God Alpha. damn it. All right, Echoes Alpha. at the base. Alpha. Bravo's this sprinting over. I've just sent Charlie? some random Portal rockets into the contact. hills, and I'm sending the helicopters Over. and Bravo, Bravo in. Come on. This is Papa Bear. Let's see what our reports say. Is this a telltale game? Oh, damn! I've actually spotted the mortars! Hang on a second! What?! They were definitely not Arvin soldiers! They were very... Wait, what? They would no, they weren't Arvin soldiers! I'm firing at Charlie Mortars. I don't know if I can even kill these things. Cause my guys are just gunning them down, but they're not doing anything to them. Hang on. Let's do. Yeah, they're still just shooting at mortars that aren't doing anything. Hang on. What about Kovacs? Here we go. Yeah, that's very telltale. Unfortunately, there's just nothing you can do. I'm pretty sure what was happening when Bravo was getting hit with the mortars? I have a vague feeling it was the mortars just hitting the hill. And as such, what's called, uh, Bravo was just getting blown to bits while they were waiting around trying to help Alpha. Maybe. Or maybe it was the snipers. We got, yeah, two units of snipers. Alright. Well, that's a big sad. Sad that we can't keep them alive. See, I kind of suspected this because the missions are self-contained and you can play them in any order. You can also just unlock them. I just, I was like, hmm, I don't actually think they're connected, which makes me big sad, but hey, it's still a fun game. All right, let's play this mission. 
code names Dallas, Detroit, and Denver. Mm -hmm. I guess we have a D lover in the CC. I <laughs> 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 love that little laugh. Yeah. <laughs> sure the are not cooperating with the VC. Papa Bear, this is Echo. We're in Denver. A few dozen Aww. civilians and over a dozen huts. It's a nice way to describe forward. Denver, you know. Um, Papa Bear, this is Bravo. We have a situation <laughs> over here. <laughs> Elaborate. Over. Seems like those fuckers are really into the VC. They hit a whole stash of rifles and grenades. They say it's for self-defense. But I wouldn't believe a single fucking word of those sly yellow motherfuckers. May I suggest a little Zippo raid? Maybe put in the village will teach him a lesson. Over. <laughs> Do we burn the village down? Evacuate the village and burn it. Oh my god. Uh... Coleman, let's just be chill. Let's not burn an entire village down, maybe? We're gonna try and make this place nice. It's what Kovacs would have wanted. Negative, Coleman. We don't need any more problems with the locals. Destroy the stash and leave them be. I'll inform the CC that those Arvin boys will have one more village to take care of. Over. Uh, sir, never mind. Ignore my last report. What the? Wow, that's uh. Bravo, this is Papa Bear. Do you copy? Over. Uh... Papa Bear, this is Acosta. Sir, something weird is happening. We're closing in on Bravo's position. I hear shots and screams, and there's smoke all over the village. It doesn't look right. Wait a minute, Billy, are you alright? Wait, that's. Ah, uh, are we being hacked? Marco, this is Papa Bear. Do you copy? Over. Uh, see, I liked everything about this except his delivery of the line "Holy fuck!" because it was just like "Holy fuck!" Answer me, Acosta. What's your status? Over. God damn it, Coleman. Answer. Over. This is a really cool moment. I really enjoy this. Uh, who knew Denver would be so scary? Can you hear me, Echo? Over. Lads. What's your status, Bravo? Coleman. Anybody. I do like the voice actor of the uh, big uh, Papa Bear. He's quite good. This is Bravo. We're here, sir. Oh, finally. Coleman, are you all right? What happened there? I think we faced a minor radio malfunction. Everything seems to be okay now. Uh, no, it's secured. I'll leave uh, Billy and Carter behind to secure the perimeter. Uh, the Bravo's ready to move out. Over. Papa Bear, this is Echo. I mean Echo. We're here. Fuck. Our radio. Sir, it is acting up. Uh, okay, I guess. What are your orders? Over. Those fuckers are lying to me. Right, on we go. <laughs> well, that was definitely not us shooting a bunch of civilians, anyway. Echo, this is Papa Bear. We're in the air, coming in for those precious American bus of yours. Hang on, green one out. What was that? What? What was that? Victor- Oh, right, gotcha. Ha ha ha. There were Charlies there, knew it. Bunch of- wait, oh wait, no, they're actually- they're actually just- they came over and attacked me at the start, did they? Wow, I like how this one just doesn't even have a briefing. Okay, alright. What? Papa Bear, this is Echo. What? Copy? We're under attack. I say again, we're under attack. I have no idea what's happening. We're being I just, shot at from all directions. I just woke up. Multiple Help. Contacts. Uh, where the hell even is the outpost? Where the hell are we? Echo. Hello? Can I just go back to bed, please? Ooh, there we go. They're finally back. 
Hello. I hear you loud and clear, Echo. What's your situation? Over. I think we're safe now. At least for the time being. Something's very wrong here, Papa Bear. Charlie's furious. There's a ton of them, too. Over. What's your status, Echo? We're fine. A few minor wounds, but they're already patched up and ready for hopping. But there's a bigger problem, sir. <laughs> we have no idea where we are. Over. Oh, wow. Okay. Say again? Over. We're lost, sir. We ran into the jungle and just kept running. And now we're deep into the forest and have no idea what our position is. Over. All right, calm your men down and do not move. We'll find your way out. Or for fuck's sake, Echo, get your shit together. I will lead you out. I will lead you out. I'm actually good at this shit. I have to learn this shit for armor. For fuck's sake, Echo. You're supposed <laughs> to be a professional. Not Little Red Riding Hood lost in the woods. Get your shit together. I'll lead you out. Papa Bear out. All right, Echo, I want you to move to the north. Yeah. Let's just start Echo, rolling. This is Papa Bear. Move to okay. north. Over. Papa Bear. Okay, we'll start with a move to the north. There we go. Papa Bear, this is Taurus. This is a Delta Force oh, unit There we the go. They'll help you find Echo. Wait for them to report in. Out. Okay, I've got Echo moving north just nice and slow like, so hopefully I'm just hoping they'll hit like one of these rivers or something Papa and they'll Bear, say this something. Is Echo. <gasps> We're crossing some kind of stream. Yes, it's probably this part. I think we've probably found you then, because I ordered you north, and then you're crossing a strip. This is almost certainly you. Hang on a second. Dota, let's go. I assume they're not actually there, but they're somewhere along this stream. I'm going to order them to move slowly to the west, so that way they'll hopefully cross a stream again at some point, and I'll definitely know where they are. They're crossing another stream! They must be either... It's basically just this line along here, because if they went north and then west and then crossed a stream twice, it has to be along there. Or they're down here, at which point, just fuck everything. Now, th there's no way they could be over here, because they went north and then west across a stream. So they could be here, but Delta just passed by there, so impossible as well. Papa Bear, this is Delta. Boom. Movement is slight. Probably okay, grunt scene. Or so. Men at Moving three, northwest. Eight, zero, five, Those might be our guys. Five, seven. Delta, get closer. Delta. Let's go. This is Papa Bear. Move Papa Bear. Papa Bear, this is Delta. Boom! We found your lost kittens. Boom! I, I was again, so good. Echo. Oh so my god. Fuck. We made it. Thank God. Uh, you there, Papa Bear? Over. Still here, Acosta. You see, it's about our last mission. Something happened. Oh, he's Something now going to cough it up. Here we go. Here we go. What do you mean bad? Elaborate. Bravo's radio was working fine. Coleman lied about the malfunction. They... Sir, they slaughtered yep. those people. The entire yep. village. Men, women, children. Something and the children like too. Civilians. We've seen the bodies. Most of them shot. Some multiple times. Some in the back. Some knifed. Some beat to death, sir. I don't know what the CC told you about Bravo dissolving, but I'm glad they're not here anymore. Well, that's nice to say over radio. Um, I'm not going to report that to the CC. This is war, Acosta. Just forget about it. I like how I'm pissing off the one guy I have left. Both of my other lieutenants are dead or gone, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck you, Acosta. This is war, Acosta. Just forget about it. Papa Bear out. Oh, <laughs> I ignored his confession. Victory? Oh, what? Oh, I see. So they started here. They ran that way. Okay, they ran that way, and I've guided them north. They barely missed a Charlie patrol. And then look at this. They cross over. They get closer. They find each other. They go home. Oh, hello. Hey, is this shit on? Oh, fuck, Mr. Press. I shouldn't even be talking to you. The boys. Hell, if I know what they would do to me if they found out. That's right. We marched into a village. Just like that. We've marched into hundreds of villages before this one, and each and every one of them looked the same. Identical huts. 
identical rice fields. Identical stupid ass Papa Sands bound before you like you're Lyndon fucking Johnson himself. You know what's different this time? We're right after Kovac's death. Right after Alpha's annihilation. Yeah. We're all pumped up, filled with all the fucking rage in the world. And boom, there it is. A cache full of old, dusty, yet still operable AK-47s. Just like that. Yeah, of course those slopeheads couldn't have stacked those rifles for themselves. I'd say hiding a gun while trapped between the Kong and us seemed like a reasonable thing to do. But we were in no mood for reason. It's not really a popular concept among Uncle Sam's grunts anyway. So, we're in the village, reporting about the guns we found, and suddenly, a fight breaks out. Billy and Carter are beating the shit out of some gook. And fuck if I know why. And there's his yellow wife, or mother. She's right there next to him, sobbing like a wounded deer. And Billy, and Whoa. Billy shot her, just like that. And suddenly, everything's easy. The gooks are running in panic, and we're wasting them. Men, women, kids, no difference. 58 corpses in 28 minutes, like it was nothing. I mean, Marlin got like four in one, <laughs> so... I won't answer that. You're the Jono here. Do your job. But I can tell you one thing. I should have stopped it. That was my job. But I was too fucking angry. Too fucking scared. I could sell you a fairy tale about the goddamn war machine that threw us into the jungle and turned us into fucking animals. Or how the Vietnamese hell changed pure American boys into baby killers. And it'd be true. But there's also another truth. No one ordered Bravo to mask of the village. No one put a gun on my head. I stood there. Watched. And did nothing. Popper Bear. Papa Bear? Ah. He's okay. Always looking out for us. Oh, thanks, dude. But I doubt he knows what happened. To be honest, I doubt he even knows one true thing about the war. <laughs> oh, fuck Hiding you. His tent with a radio and map. That's not the NAM. At least not my NAM. <laughs> Sounds more like some kind of game. Well, lads, that was Radio Commander. There you go. That is the whole campaign. Hot damn. Something I forgot to say here is that I do really appreciate that the game ends with a whimper and not with a bang. Like, the missions just got more and more depressing until the final one was just us lost in the jungle. And then we go home. There's still all the custom missions that you can do for extra fun, but... Uh, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We've got Quick Battle as well. You can see you add... Uh, these are the different things you can take with you. I think we've used all of it. Yeah, we've got arty batteries, infantry, medevac helicopters. Ooh, we can only have so many. All right, there we go. Special forces, APCs, assault helicopters, sky cranes, recon helicopters, napalm, striking gunships. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you all for watching. I've been Rumi, and this has been Radio Commando. I really, really enjoyed this game. It was... amazingly well done. Like... Wow, I was expecting it to be good. Obviously, the voice acting suffered in certain parts, but it took a very simple concept, which is tell your men where to go and do it via radio and turn that into a really good RTS with some really, really good story told from a bunch of different perspectives as well. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm probably going to make this all one video because I don't really think it works well as a few split up videos, but we'll see. Until next time, thank you all for watching. I've been Rumi, and cheers to the devs for making a uh, lovely game. I backed it on Kickstarter, and it should be out on Steam now-ish. I'm not quite sure. Enjoy. And now I want to make some Vietnam armor missions. Goddamn.